Dude, the new Battletoads game, straight up trash. Hello. I started this gangster shit. This the motherf- Thanks, I get it. Hello. I started this gangster shit. And this the motherf- Hey, if you like this content but haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe right now. Thanks. Yo, it's Comic Artist Pro Secrets, and my name is Ethan Van Skyver, 26-year veteran of the comic book industry, world's most charming, elegant, eloquent, and yet humble man, great big Star Wars fan, trusted member of the media, and creator of a comic book called Cyberfrog Blood Honey. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a character I made up. Uh, I've got an Indiegogo campaign right now uh, for Cyberfrog. This is Big Brother Salamandroid. Uh, here he is, fist bump right there. All right, this is hardcore action. Even though it's a robotic salamander, a robotic frog, these two are brothers. Uh, they are Earth's last line of defense against an invasion of kind of alien wasp, hornet, bee creatures called the Vespas that see human beings as livestock. They want to come and they want to um, take our blood and turn it into nectar which becomes honey to feed their young. They want to repurpose our bodies as building material like paper hornets do, paper over our cities with our dried out flesh. Uh, their, their acidic saliva melts us down. These are nasty, nasty aliens. This is a devastating invasion. And Salamandroid and Cyberfrog are our last line of defense uh, against being totally decimated by these aliens. Now, uh, I take this seriously. Even though, again, even though it's a, it's a, you know, salamander and a frog, and that's kind of funny. Uh, this is real action. Uh, there's, there are real stakes, and I take this stuff seriously because I'm not trying to talk down to my audience, uh, even if they're 12, 13 year old, 14 year olds that are reading this comic, or if they're 40, 50, 60. Uh, it's the same. Uh, you know, this is going to be fun, serious, intense, uh, exciting action fantasy adventure. Um, now, uh, unfortunately, that kind of attitude seems to be disappearing from entertainment. All right, so direct from E3 comes the uh, Battle Toads 2019 gameplay trailer, and it looks like straight up trash. I do not understand this. I don't understand why they take things that are tough and cool and you know mean, uh, and they kind of just make them cute like everything has to be cute now it's this cal arts goofy nick jr style of animation that frankly i don't know who it's for i don't know who this serves this this isn't little boys aren't gonna like this nobody's gonna like this teenagers aren't gonna like this 20 somethings aren't gonna like this and battle toads used to be so tough it used to be so badass uh this is ridiculous right this straight up garbage giving these oh man ah. Oh. Gross. Given these characters the same look as Danny Phantom or uh, Fairy Godparents, you know, any of this, this is supposed to be a fighting, you know, punch them, hit them up game, and uh, it is, it looks like garbage. I don't know why this keeps happening. Teen Titans, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Thundercats recently. Nothing is safe. Like, you know, nothing is safe from these weirdos. And I, you know, I don't. I don't know what they expected from this. I don't know if they're not, you know, are your ears down? Are you listening? Put your ears to the ground and listen to the reaction that people are giving you uh, about this style of artwork. It rubs people the wrong way. It's totally soy drenched. Uh, it, it's not fun. It's not cool. It's just silly. Why are you taking something that was, you know, ironically, si like silly, but ironically tough and fun and iconic and big and, and cool, and then you make it just silly. Just there's no irony. It's just flat out silly. Toads punching each other and and doing like that. It now it's just silly. There's no kind of uh, I don't know. There's no other way to take it anymore. All of the subtlety is taken out of it. It's just a goofy, stupid SpongeBob SquarePants looking cartoon now. And this video game, uh, it's gonna bomb. Uh, and I don't know how many times. Uh, how many more times these weirdos have to come in here and take the balls out of every single uh, tough boy's property and 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 lose and lose incredibly? I mean, look at the look at the ratio here: four point nine uh, th uh, hundred thumbs up versus uh, oh no, thousand. I'm sorry, uh, versus eight point nine thousand. Uh, it's garbage. This is absolute garbage. Uh, and and they're letting you know. I mean, like the fans are just like, what happened to my battle toads? What happened to it? At some point, you're going to have to wake up and just start giving people um, something that's actually uh, 
uh, playing up to them, something that's actually going to light their imaginations on fire rather than just reducing their cool properties like He-Man, uh, their cool properties uh, like Thundercats, like uh, Teen Titans, uh, all of this stuff, reducing it down to ironic, soy-based, uh, you know, kind of smug chuckle garbage like this turned out to be. Shame on... And by the way, uh, they sneak the Dark Queen in here, their version of the Dark Queen. It's just in there for a split second. What is this? What is this? This is... This is like one of Timmy's friends from uh, Fairy Godparents. Fairly Odd Parents, I mean. My kid used to watch that show. This is stupid. This isn't for anybody. This is for nobody. I mean, people were kind of hoping this game would be mean and tough. Uh, and then, you know, the Dark Queen would be sexy. This is garbage. This is pure, pure garbage. Uh, and I hope it does. I think it's going to fail. I don't know who it was for. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm furious about this. I'm absolutely furious about it. And at the same time, oh well, I'm offering a frog book. I'm offering a, a frog comic book that's actually tough and mean and cool. Takes itself seriously. Uh, is not meant to uh, you know make fun of the people who actually like it. Uh, my, my book, Cyber Frog Blood Honey, is way badass. It's for real. Uh, and um, man, I, I don't know. I, we got to take back the culture from these freaks. We got to do it. We can't allow this to just go on anymore. Here's Cyberfrog's friend Heather Swain, as you can see. Much better looking than the Dark Queen uh, in this stupid ass video game. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, please do subscribe if you haven't yet uh, and hit the link for notifications. Also, back Cyberfrog Blood Honey, the link's in the description. Also, back Cyberfrog Vampirella, the variant cover, that link is in the description as well. I don't know. We're going to have to take back the culture one block at a time, one step at a time, and teach these people they can't just feed us garbage pablum like this and expect us to think it's okay uh the cutesiness the the pops part of the problem the funko popification of entertainment has to come to an end join me and let's let's see if we can make that happen hey i got a p.o box want to send me some mail send it to ethan van skyver p.o box 607 marlton new jersey 08053 and i'll probably open it up on the live stream thanks very much everyone hey you want to follow me on twitter are you sure well if so i'm at ethan van skyver that's at ethan van skyver see you there Hello, potential Indiegogo backers. Hello, friends. My name is Ethan Van Skyver. I'm a comic book creator who worked for 20 years for Marvel and DC Comics on books like Green Lantern, Flash, Superman, Batman, and X-Men. But before that, I had a comic book called Cyberfrog. Now, Cyberfrog lasted from 1993 to 1998, and then it stopped when I went to go work for DC Comics. Now I want to tell the story of where Cyberfrog has been for the last 20 years. I want to write, pencil, ink a book called Cyberfrog Blood Honey that tells the story of gigantic alien hornets that come to Earth and conquer it, sending Cyberfrog into deep hibernation, where he emerges now in the year 2018 into a completely alternate reality, a new world where these hornets have taken over, devastated humanity, using human skin to make gigantic wasp hives and harvesting human blood to make honey to feed their young very few humans still exist. But it's up to Cyberfrog to save what's left of humanity and turn back the damage that's been done by these wasps with his brother Salamandroid and his friend Heather Swain. I want you to help me do this. We're going to get colors by Kyle Ritter. He's a fantastic colorist and he's going to make this book sing. Uh, I'd like this to be a 48 page one shot prestige format part one of four. So I'm asking you to help me launch the very first Cyberfrog Blood Honey epic graphic novel. Are you in? Will you help me? I hope so. Let's get this frog jumping again.
If you enjoyed this video and want to become part of this community, subscribe to this channel by clicking the Laughing Man Face logo right on your screen. Ring the bell for notifications as well. You'll never miss a live chat. And stay tuned, another video by Comic Artist Pro Secrets is coming right up.